before I go back and, and upgrade the uh, sweep method a little bit, I just want to quickly implement the game over method and the reveal all bombs method, which is actually part of the game over method, uh, just so that when we actually do lose, we can sort of tell what happened. and We don't get left with, oh, click the space and nothing happened. <clears throat> so what happens when the game's over? Well, first of all, game over variable is going to set, get set to true because game's now over. And I would also like to see where all the mines were hidden. And so that's where I'm going to call the reveal all the bombs method. And then I'd like to see an alert message that tells me that my game came to an end and maybe why it came to an end. So alert message is equal to new alert. And I'm just going to use the alert type none because I'm basically creating my own here. Um, so I'm going to set the message header text. I don't like header text. I think it looks goofy, so I'm setting it to null. And I'm going to set the message uh, title to be the title that I was given in my arguments. So it might say victory or it might say game over. And I'm going to set the... Uh, content text to be the message that I was given in my arguments. And I want to create a single button on this uh, alert box. And so I'm going to go uh, get button types and I'm going to add a new button type. And that button type is going to be based on whatever I was told so or whatever icon I was given. Uh, sorry, it's going to be based on the text that I was given to, so it's going to say either victory or kaboom on it, right? And I'm going to make an icon on this uh, particular message box, so I'm going to go set graphic, and I'm going to use the icon that I was passed, which in the argument, it's named icon. See, that lines up with that. And then I'm going to display that message. That's it. Uh, button type, I need to import. And that's it. All right, okay, now well, how would I reveal all the bombs? If I want to show where all the bombs are within the entire grid, then I need to go through the whole grid again, through the whole array. So I'm going to use two for loops for that, for column is zero, and column is less than field calls and column plus plus Let's first for loop second for loop for integer row is equal to zero and row is less than field underscore rows row plus plus Right, so passing through every single row, through every single column, what I want to do is uh, look at the particular space in the minefield. And if it's a bomb, show that on the button that's in that spot. So if this space is mine, display the mine on the button. That's what I want to happen, right? How do I tell if this space is a mine? I look at mine field, column and row. And if it's equal to negative one or equal to the mine value, then I would go to the mine field buttons array at the same location, column, index, column, index, row, and set the graphic of that to be equal to a uh, new image view based on a bomb. So it's going to show the mine icon. And if I set the uh, graphic, I want to make sure that that's all the person's going to see on a particular button. So it's a 
Want that display to be caught that display. Uh, graphic only. <clears throat> Just to make sure I'm not seeing something else by accident. And that's it. That space was a, a bomb. Display the bomb. Okay, so that'll process through all 225 spaces and display each one of the 30 bombs in the location that it's at. So if I run that, okay, so there's a bomb near here. There it is. I hit it. And now the message box was over on my other monitor. You set off a mine. Kaboom. I got my game over message and I see where all of the bombs happen to be. New game still doesn't do anything. We'll take care of that in a later video.